Another big environment when we can choose the height of tie basis, gingival height, is when implants placed crestally. Now, there is completely different situation because if the implant is placed at the level of the bone, then you don't have the bone above your implant, you have only tissues, then the, then the uh, titanium base height, in my opinion, gingival height, is not that important. For example, here, all these implants are restored with one millimeter tie base. And we know this research from retrospective studies, which show that if you have, you should have to about only two millimeters of titanium base height gingivally, that uh, you got to have bone loss. But here, the, here we have otherwise. The implants is placed at the level of the bone and no bone loss, even though they are restored with one millimeter tie base. That's why retrospective studies are difficult to interpret because they lack the context. Retrospective studies are not saying how deep the implant was placed. Maybe in those cases which are described in the retrospective study show that the implants were placed subcrestally. In that time, I agree that two millimeters should be as as least as, as the, 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 the should be agreeable. However, if the implant is placed at the level of the bone, then we can argue, should we, uh, is it really wise to use higher tie bases? In order to answer that, we are now in the process of clinical study, which compares the influence of titanium-based gingival height of bone stability around the implants placed at the level of the bone with thick tissues. So tissues are thick, we're placing implant at the level of the bone, and then we, part of the implants are restored with 0.8 millimeter tie bases, and the other part is restored from 2.4 millimeter.